What's up, y'all? I'm back at it again. Y'all already know where I'll be at, at work. For those who are new, I want to welcome you to the Royal Gang Nation family, or just in general. <laughs> y'all know who it is, the general himself, Kingston Jaleel. I just wanted to make this video because I feel like it's not a, enough support out here. It's like I've been putting up video after video and getting no responses. You know, I'm not really all into the adding graphics or anything, like subtitles, etc. yet. But it's hard to bring awareness and raise money on your own. Y'all see, I be busting my ass every day at work you know what i'm saying and if anybody knows like for a one bedroom apartment is 1500 dollars in new york that doesn't even include utilities okay so it's like i need y'all help i really do i ain't even gonna flex i'm really trying to get my operation of my top and bottom surgery and i got my doctor and just I'm going to put the link in the description below. Make sure y'all subscribe and thumbs up this video and share it, please. You know, I be supporting my other FTM brothers and sisters and just even MTF or just in the community, period. You know, I'm not trying to ask for no pat on the back, but I am trying to ask y'all for help straight up. I can't do it by myself. You know, I've, I got a clothing line. And I took money that I sold into my own company. And, you know, I would go when I was in Vegas and where else was I at? And, um, and in L.A. as well. I would, go, I would take stuff from my clothing line and give it to the homeless that cost me money and I get back for it. I said... I knew God was going to bless me back, you know, as he always do. You know, I'll, lean that, I'll leave that link and y'all can go check out the pictures and stuff that I've done. And then if people needed stuff, I would give. That's just on my heart because eventually when I get on, you know, and open up other parts of my company and me discontinue other things. I'm going to open up a charity to help give back and also to help the other FTM people who is trying to get funding and stuff. It's hard out here for us, y'all. We already get discriminated against. In addition to, you know, people saying, oh, you're sick in the head. You're confused. You don't know what you need to do. Listen, I'm going to be 100. I am 34 years old. Even back in the day of high school, and anybody know me personally, knew I was one of them people that always knew I was transgender. You feel me? It just wasn't as easy as it is now today as it were back then, 15, 20 years ago. Because the closest thing we had came to to this was on um, Jerry Springer and also on Maury Povey. You feel me? And those were trainees then. So, it's like, I want to go forth with this. You know, I I have um, discomfort about um, dysphoria of the body. You understand? For those who don't know, look that word up, dysphoria. And I don't come against people like that. I support them. I don't care if it's $2, $5. Every dollar work. I got to raise 50 Ten to twenty thousand dollars for my surgery, and that's just. And then I got I got to come out of it because my doctor don't take insurance, so I have to pay it. I don't know how, but God gonna make a way. And another thing to y'all hypocritical Christians, y'all can stop that shit talking about. Oh, you don't know, you know about um, you going to help, man. Fuck y'all, number one. Number two is, you can't say we're going to hell because you don't have no hell or having to put no one in. I'm saved. My spirit is saved. My flesh would never be saved. So when I do die and will die, I will go to heaven. That's number one. Number two is, 
God didn't make no mistake with me. He wanted me to be a woman in the beginning, but I already know he knew I was going to alter because I I just don't feel comfortable with my body. It's not that I don't love myself. It's just that I don't, you know, so I'm just going through what I need to do to alter things. And I am. I always been one of the people like, oh, I'll never get cosmetic surgery, blah, blah, blah. Well, as they said, never say never. Well, you know, I had to have it, you know, on my chin when I got Francisco it. Medina. Francisco Medina. Please excuse the um, radio because I am at work. So I can't turn it off. But. Francisco Medina coming. But, but I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Please go and donate. Give what you like. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all personally. Send y'all a thank you letter. If y'all leave your information, I understand y'all may not want to put it on the site. Just email me or inbox me on my Facebook page. I'll even put up my like page so y'all can go speak up on there, share your story. If y'all have questions and y'all don't know how to ask or other people, just come to me. You know, i help y'all. I'm an open book. Y'all make sure y'all look for my third book coming out i wrote two books but those two were christian books they were back like um when i was in my 20s i'm about to re-release that i'm opening up my um own publishing company as soon as i'm able to financially but i'm telling y'all as well man don't shun away other people who's going through you don't know what others are going through mentally and if y'all can help i greatly appreciate that i love y'all come on y'all share this I need your help. Share it on all your social media. Screenshot it. Put it on your um, media. I appreciate that. Tag me and I'll shout y'all out and follow back and possibly call y'all. I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. Make sure y'all join the Royal Gang Nation. You feel me? I appreciate you again. Have a good day.